KDE has three people that are called the goalkeepers. If you haven't seen my video about KD goals, you should probably check that one out first where I actually explain what goals are. And I would actually like to quickly share my story on how I became a goal champion because uh, I can only do it now because soon I won't be a goal champion anymore. So I got to be quick with this. So it happened in 2019. And in 2019, I wasn't actually really a strong part of KDE. I was like doing some very small contributions, but I didn't quite understand the whole project as well as I do now. And uh, luckily, very luckily, actually, the academy that year was in Italy and it was rather close to my city. So I was able to attend in person. If it would have been like anywhere else, even Germany, which is still close to Italy, but not enough for me, uh, I wouldn't have been able to actually go there. So I was super lucky that Academy, which is the largest uh, meeting of all of the kiddie interested people every year, was in Italy. And uh, that year, I was also very lucky that there was the goal, new goals selection. We had three old goals, which are were um, privacy, onboarding of people, and the third one was usability and um, productivity. Usability and productivity. Sorry, I forgot about the second term. And uh, they reached their natural end, and so we had to actually do new ones. And uh, everybody, literally everybody, could propose their own. So I did, and I proposed the consistency without really thinking that it would have been accepted. But, you know, you know I, I thought that was something that KDE could have improved on. And I actually wrote a very, very detailed post seeing everything that, in my personal opinion, should have been done. So I did that. And uh, the announcement of the new goals was done on this stage in front of a very large live audience. This was before the pandemic. And uh, when Lydia, which is her, actually announced the goals, she also asked the people that proposed the goal to stand up and talk about, in front of everyone, talk about that those goals. And so I, I was kind of anxious because, uh, I mean, I, I didn't go there thinking that I, I would have to talk to everybody. But anyway, I, I got there and you can, see, you can see me in this picture with my beautiful... Whoever took this picture, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I did have the Python t-shirt, which is pretty cool, but my I wasn't dressed uh, appropriately for the event. Even my uh, pants were like uh, not the one that I would have chosen if I knew I was going to stand in front of everybody, but it went very, um, really well anyway. So I just had to say, yeah, yeah, we're going to do something. Thanks everybody. I'm... I'm going to require some help. That's what I said in very short. You can actually get um, the video of that talk from YouTube if you want to see it. And uh, actually after that, everybody has been super, super supportive to me. And even though I didn't know anyone there, like literally nobody, everybody actually got to me and talked to me saying, uh, introducing me to the various aspects of the KD community. And I understood really little English because I was Italian. I was very young. N now I kind of know more, but even back then I knew something, but I kept actually misunderstanding everything. And that was annoying, but actually let me make you an example here. Uh, there's this, uh, at a certain point, Lydia actually came to me and said that the day after we were going to do breakfast to talk about the goals. And I was like, okay, br breakfast, okay, where, when? And uh, after uh, quite some discussing, I actually understood that she didn't say breakfast. She said BOFs, which are birds of feather, which are like meetings to actually discuss about some to topics specifically. And I had never heard the word before. And I, I really thought we were going to have, like all together, the kitty members have breakfast all together to talk about consistency. That, <laughs> that did not happen, that, but I thought it was going to happen. So the goal ch uh, champions are actually the people who propose the goals and are going to maintain those goals. 
I was selected back then as the consistency. I mean, I wasn't selected. I actually proposed the goal and the goal was selecting, selected through making me a goal champion. The second one was about uh, Wayland, but the, the person that actually proposed the Wayland goal never actually showed up. Uh, it was, it was, they were uh, a newcomer too. So they didn't stand up and actually somebody else got assigned to the goal. So the goal champion for Wayland is Maven, Maven, Maven. And then the apps goal was actually proposed by Joe Riddle, Jonathan, Jonathan Riddle. But later on, he actually stepped back and Alex Paul uh, took his place. So these three people are currently the gold champions. And the cool thing is that you, you can become a gold champion too, because at uh, the next academy, there will be a new selection of goals and everybody again can propose them. And believe me, if I was able to get a goal selected, you can too. And if you want some suggestion on how to actually get there, there is a video uh, in the KD official YouTube channel where I actually get interviewed by Adam, which is uh, the project manager of KD that actually manages these things. And in there, I go more in depth about how you should structure your goal if you want it to be selected.